No other figure in the history of psychology has contributed so much to the science and theory of behavior and to psychology as a whole as B.F. Skinner. His systematic experimental research on operant learning in the early 1930s laid the foundation for a natural science of behavior, which evolved into a unified discipline called behavior analysis. As of the early 21st century, it comprises three branches, an experimental branch called the experimental analysis of behavior, a conceptual branch called radical behaviorism, and an applied branch called applied behavior analysis. Skinner was almost single-handedly responsible for founding behavior analysis as a result of his innovative research methods and apparatus for studying the behavior of organisms as subject matter in its own right. He was also instrumental in promoting a conceptual and theoretical analysis of behavior through his writing on the philosophy of a science of behavior, interpretations of language, analysis of cultural practices, and discussions of the implications of a science of behavior for complex topics such as freedom and dignity. Moreover, Skinner's discovery of basic behavioral principles such as reinforcement, extinction, discrimination, as well as the shaping of behavior in the animal laboratory led him to suggest their application to real-world problems such as education, the treatment of the developmentally disabled, clinical psychology, drug abuse, and the design of cultures. As a result, he is indirectly responsible for the successful application of behavioral principles to ameliorate a wide range of behavioral problems. His work, both experimental and conceptual, has been widely misunderstood and misrepresented. Nonetheless, no other psychologist, either before or since, has influenced psychology and Western culture as much as B.F. Skinner.